Hey guys, welcome to my hobby update. It's been a while, it's been a few months. I've been very busy with school and now I'm out for the summer. But during that time of school, I haven't been totally idle regarding the hobby, of course not. So let me show you a couple of things that I have been working on. Okay, so one of the first things that I did was I bought an army surplus blanket. This one right here for about $25 from a local army surplus store. And turns out I thought it was Korean, but it is in fact Chinese. And the reason for that is because I held the first time ever, for the first time ever, uh, a miniatures demonstration game at my school and that was fairly successful. I had a lot of onlookers and I had four of my students actually play. Three of them are internationals from China and that's how I got to know about this information that it's made in northern China. Um, and I had one American. So woohoo! It was a Flames of War, late war uh, game and it was a good time uh, to be had by all. And I posted up on Facebook uh, for that. Uh, another thing I did was as part of uh, working on the mid-war American Army, I got these 37 got these 37 millimeter guns, anti-tank guns, and this is the older style packaging because I happen to have a command stand to go with it. Uh, even though I built the command stand and officially it's not part of the game, I do use that based on the suggestion Battlefront made for those of us who still had leaders. Uh, that while it's not a separate piece, but that's a way to go and mark which AT gun stand or which gun stand or mortar stand is the commander of the unit uh, there. So, yeah, and the sand that I use that you see on here, this is Southern California beach sand. Eh, it works. Okay, now you may notice that I used, I have these. Uh, this is from railroad uh, cork beds that you can pick up at any model railroad supply store. And I, what I did, I went ahead and it would normally look something like this. You'd find it like this, except it's one layer, and this would be filled in. And I found that these, I was inspired uh, by a fellow gamer, Tim Knapp. He had some of these, and I thought, wow, this would be very useful to uh, do. So I went ahead and I made a number of these, and you just place them in front. Those are my dug-in markers, if you will. Now, one of the nice things that I didn't realize at the time, but I can connect these and go ahead and form basically a trench. So, yeah, that works. So I've been busy with Flames of War Mid-War version 4. I'm still working on the uh, rules and whatnot. I am working on a Russian uh, Pioneer uh, platoon, I'm sorry, company. And I'm also working on a pair of Russian 45 millimeter AT guns as well. And I'm also working on another set of these two uh, anti-tank guns as well to complement my mid-war American force. So that's it for my hobby update. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and God bless.